Alright, so you uh, convert an ASX file to a uh, WMV file that you can play locally on your own machine. Um, here are the steps. First of all, there's two things you need, or that I'm assuming you already have. Um, first is the ASX file. Actually, right click saved from the website you got it from, and just save it onto your desktop. The second is a VLC media player. Um, if you don't have this, just Google it. It's, you know, it's actually one of the better media players out there, so we need that as well. Okay, the first thing you do is go over to the ASX file, and you want to open that up in Notepad. Okay, once that's open in Notepad, you're going to see two uh, web addresses. We're going to go ahead and want this one right here. The one right above that, you know, might work, but most, uh, media servers are password protected so you can't just directly use that but go ahead and copy this and go into VLC and go file open network stream and it'll bring up this box here and go ahead and tick this box and paste your URL the MS MMS URL and then you're going to want to go down here into the advanced options section and uh, check the stream save box and then go into settings and you're going to see the outputs uh, section you want to tick the file box and then go into the browse and from here you can go ahead and just type in you know whatever you want to save it as and the location you want to save it I'm just going to go ahead and save it on my desktop And then also you want to go ahead and check the uh, dump raw input box as well. And as soon as you do that, go ahead and click OK. And OK again. And you're going to notice your media player is going to start doing something. Uh, it won't be playing the actual file, but you can see that the uh, progress bar is moving and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait until that gets completely through you're going to want to wait until that uh, progress bar is finished otherwise your, fire, your file will not be uh, indexed properly so go ahead and just uh, wait till that finishes for the time being um, for this tutorial I'm just going to go ahead and stop it though and what that does is it leaves you with the file here and your computer will not recognize it initially um, what you have to do is go into it and rename it with the proper extension which in this case is a Windows Media Video and once you add that extension on hit enter and voila you have a locally a local video that you can play on your own machine